Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. I hope you're doing well today. I've got a beer from the brand new range that was launched in Tesco in the last few days. Uh, this is one from one of my breweries of the year last year. It's Buxton. And this is a, a can of their Brit Hop. And it's a modern British hop IPA. Check out the artwork on that. As ever, Buxton, really nice artwork. Quite often they go for the kind of British countryside landscape thing. I do like that. Through autumnal colours. Uh, this IPA is coming in at 6.8% ABV. That's a belting ABV level for an IPA. Well happy with that. Uh, so yes, Brit Hop, um, an all British grown IPA showcasing some of the most exciting and aromatic new hops to be developed by British hop growers. And that's all she wrote, really. Uh, water, barley, oats, wheat and hops. It's not giving nothing away, which is a bit of a shame, but a full on British brewed beer. British hops. I'm all up for that. So yeah, Buxton, they do some fantastic beers. Last year in particular, I thought they smashed it. They put a few beers in supermarkets and they were really, really good. Um, I think they've been a little bit quieter this year in terms of supermarket releases, but they did knock out an absolutely belting Citra IPA that went in Tesco sort of towards the beginning of the year. Um, but yeah, this one's just come out. Uh, what's the date today? 13th, Monday the 13th of September. Um, this is in Tesco, I'm assuming from today. Um, I know a few people have been out and bought... Uh, Bought some of the new beers from Tesco. Vocation went in there. Um, I think Northern Monk have gone in there. Brewdog have put a few out, but you know, I'm going to talk about that. Uh, but yeah, Buxton. I was this one. I was particularly excited about when I found out there was another Buxton going in. This was the one I was really keen to get hold of. Uh, so yeah, a British, fully British produced beer, Brit Hop, modern British Hop IPA. Just leave that there so we can see it. I do like that artwork. Here's the beer. It's a hazy gold looking beer with a solid finger, slightly creamy looking white head, which doesn't seem to be going anywhere very quickly. Um, looks quite light in this light, but when I'm looking, it looks slightly darker than perhaps the sort of run of the mill tropical type IPAs that are everywhere at the moment. Uh, it looks lovely. It really does look good. Lovely hazy orange colour to it. Pure white, creamy looking head. Let's get me snouting, see what the aroma is telling us. Oh, okay, so the tropical aroma isn't flying out at me. Quite malty. Slightly floral. But other than that, there's not a great deal. You kind of, it's almost get to, it's got to the point now where you pour yourself an IPA and it looks like that. You expect to be greeted by like a big tropical hit. It doesn't come. There's not none of that here. Slightly citrusy. Slight floralness to it. <laughs> it smells a bit like a cow farted in it. It's slightly farmyardy. Not strong, but it's there. It's there. It smells fresh. Let's do a date on this. Condensation on the can is stopping me from reading that. 26th. The 5th of next year. Let's say when it was canned. But yeah. So very subtle aroma, very subtle aroma. It does, it has a slightly more British look to it. When you have a traditional British IPA, there's a slightly darker tinge to it. And I'm getting that on this. The aroma is subtle. Very little to speak of really. So I'm just going to get stuck in. So cheers everyone. Mm. Okay. Oh, that's disappointing. Light on the body, gentle carbonation. I'm not really sure what to make of this. 
there's a bitterness to it that's clinging, hanging around. But I'm not really sure what else I'm getting here. It's very malty. There's more malt character to this than anything else. It's a slight bready malt. But then there's also a biscuity malt to it as well. There's a bitterness from the hops. Not really getting anything at the front of the palate. It's all very much a mid and back palate. I like the body. I like the way it feels on the palate. There's that maltiness, subtle kind of brown bread, slightly sweet, malty flavour. At the back end, it has a very traditional, like a traditional, I want to say traditional. It, it tastes like there's sort of a challenger gone into it, a bit of golding, something like that. Very, it tastes very traditional, but like a, it's like a dubbed down version of it. I'm not getting any of that 6.8% ABV. I'm getting none of that. This could easily be a 4.5% in terms of flavour. I'm really not sure with this. I'm, I'm just not, it's just not doing anything. It's just not doing anything. I was really looking forward to this thinking, oh, you know, modern British hopped IPA. What have they come up with? And to be honest, the answer is very little. Very little for me. There's a bit of floral, grassy kind of flavour. And I said it smelt kind of farmyardy. Getting that slightly on the flavour. Kind of like a, a straw grassy floral slightly herbal flavor but it's all really subtle it, it doesn't jump out at you i'm waiting for something to really grab my palate and say yeah that's that that's that and it's not happening it's just not happening i i cannot i'm really struggling to specify any particular elements of flavor to this beer it's just a bit of a a bit of a mess I uh, I really don't know what what this is supposed to be. I mean, there's they haven't even bothered really with a flavour text as such. I mean, all they've said is that it's uh, all British grown IPA, the most exciting and aromatic new hops to be developed by British hop growers. I mean, if this is if this is this best, if this has been used using some of the most exciting and aromatic new hops that are developed by British hop growers, uh, then we're stuffed. We're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> British hop growers need to up their game if this is as good as it gets. Um, I don't know if this is a bad batch. You never know. I mean, lovely lacing on the glass. The mouth feels lovely. It doesn't, it's not unpleasant. There's no unpleasantness to it. Like I say, it's a sight. Herbal element, slightly floral, slightly spicy. It comes a little bit of bitterness now, maybe slightly citrusy bitterness at the back end. Oh, but it's so bland. It's so bland. It's just not a lot going on with it. It's just, yeah, yeah, I'm desperately searching. I'm searching. I'm exploring my palate right now. My brain is working as hard as it can to try and decipher some flavours from this lot. And it's just not coming. I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure about it. It's got the mouthfeel. It's got the carbonation spot on. I like the bitterness at the back end. I do like the fact that it kind of hangs around. But then there's that, that even, the, even the maltiness, the sweet sort of bready maltiness you get, it's subtle. It's there, but it it just blends in with something else, and it just doesn't it just doesn't work for me. A 
yeah it's just a bit it's just a bit bland just a bit shit um yeah it's well made that that's that's the, the annoying thing it's been really well made there's some really good quality ingredients gone into it but the the choice of hops i think they've just got all wrong and the fact they've not put any flavor text on the can says to me that whoever knocked this out of the brewery didn't really know what to write <laughs> you know it's like okay you've filled it up with british hops and all that that's fantastic but what what are you trying to what was the aim you're sure that you can't just sell a beer on the fact that it was just purely british hopped there must have been a direction there must have been a flavor profile that you were going for this just doesn't have a flavor profile for me it just there's just not nothing there's just not enough going on with it If that farmyard thing is there, it's it's herbal, it's spicy, it's slightly citrusy, it's grassy. But there's just not enough. There's just not enough flavour. Nothing's outstanding. Uh, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed with that massively. I was really hoping that Brixton, uh, Brixton Buxton were going to come out with another banger. Um, not for me on this occasion. Brit Hop by Buxton. Just gone into Tesco. It's a bit crap for me, unfortunately. Um, I was really looking forward to it. British IPA. Um, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. Um, it's been well made, but it's just not enough flavour in it. I, just, I might try and get another can to see if there's a difference in the flavour. Perhaps I've got a bad batch here, I don't know. But I've got no idea what Buxton are trying to do with this beer on the strength of that can. I really have no idea. I don't know what they've gone for there. Um yeah slightly baffled so three out of ten for buxton with their brit hop available in tesco three pound a can uh have a go on that let me know what you think in the comments below hope you've enjoyed this review till my next one you take care